For the 2008 presidential campaign, now in its final stretch, Barack Obama and John McCain are scrambling for votes in a trio of battleground states, Nevada, Colorado, and New Mexico, that could determine the presidency if the race goes down to the wire. In an appeal to undecided voters, McCain has recently criticized the president, blaming his leadership for the country's woes. But campaigning in Reno, Nevada, Obama mocked that strategy. In fact, John McCain is so opposed to George Bush's policies that he voted with him 90 percent of the time for the first eight years. McCain spent Saturday stumping for votes in New Mexico, a state George Bush won narrowly in 2004. McCain continued to paint Obama as a traditional liberal. He's on the far left lane of American politics. He's the most liberal senator in the United States Senate. So it shouldn't surprise you that his goal is to redistribute money instead of spreading opportunity. Both vice presidential candidates were out on the trail, but they were fighting for votes in two other battleground states. Sarah Palin addressed a rally in Sioux City, Iowa, where she attacked Obama on his tax policies. He says he's for a tax credit, which is when government takes more of your money to give it away to someone else, according to their priorities. John McCain and I are for a real tax cut, which is simply when government just takes less of your earnings in the first place. Joe Biden spoke to a rally in the traditional red state of Virginia. The polls show Obama is leading. He told the crowd if Obama wins Virginia, he'll win the White House. He can take 10 more days of these personal attacks, but our country cannot take four more years of the economic policies of George W. Bush in the hands of John McCain. Weighed down by an economic crisis and an unpopular president, McCain's path to victory appears increasingly tricky. But Obama has multiple routes to the White House, and he's telling his supporters to avoid overconfidence. Carla Bradley, The Associated Press.